Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Hello my country bumpkins, how are you guys doing? This is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living. And uh, kind of a busy day today, Sherry and I went, well yesterday was a whole lot of shopping. We went to Costco and loaded up big time. And uh, one thing we're starting to do is kind of double double up everything we get. Why? Because it's a little bit nerve-wracking out there. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the, the bills were a little bit <laughs> bigger than we expected. So we usually go to Costco first, load up the truck, which we did. And uh, then we uh, stop at Safeway and then we get the kind of little eye, odd things that you can't get at Costco. And uh, so today uh, I want to show you Sherry, uh, we bought some Fuji apples, and we like to make apple chips, so I want to show you um, uh, an old uh, apple peeler that was her father's that we used, and uh, so here it is. So the apple peeler worked fantastic and it slices the apples. So um, anyway, all she's, uh, you saw her doing was cutting them uh, one way or the other to uh, and put them in a water, sugar, and lemon bath to keep them from browning. And then uh, we're going to put them into our dehydrator and make little apple chips and they're delicious. All we do is put a little bit of cinnamon on them and that's all you need. They're super good. So uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was you know, I, I do watch other prepping shows and, and country shows and uh, you know there's like gloom and doom out there civil war they're gonna say things like that but I have a hunch that because a lot of people from the United States are on the softer side and if things started getting kind of radical it kind of go I'm kind of guessing that it might be kind of like school you know that big bully that was at school and then someone finally stood up to him and just decked him and uh, suddenly he was humble I'm just wondering if all these little tough guys and bullies out there that are causing all this ruckus when they find out that when they push or point or jab at the wrong people too long that someone hits back and they realize oh people get hurt <laughs> I don't like getting hit back and uh, I'm just kind of wondering if all this talk about civil war and probably like that when the ones that are kind of pushing being bullies uh, start getting a slap back when they realize maybe a civil society is the way to go. <laughs> so, just food for thought. Um, you know, I, I bring this stuff up. That I don't always believe it 100%, but I hear it and they're interesting ideas. And um, so, uh, uh, just like Prepper Nation says, Hey, thanks for buying my coffee. Well, you didn't have to buy my coffee for that advice. So anyway guys, loaded up the freezers really good. I do think we're going to probably have some uh, discomfort 
in the future as far as food shortages and stuff because you know what the grocery stores had bare spots and uh, we're going into the winter and I think since we're really not making or producing food like we do in the spring and in, in, in summer uh, I think we will fill a pinch um, and I don't think it's I think it's a combination of politics of course and of course the COVID and, um, and the weather type stuff uh, it all added up and this does happen this isn't new this is not brand new at all guys this is history is replaying itself over and over and over again some years are good some years are bad so uh, we just do the best we can try to think ahead a little double up a little bit on your groceries um, and ask yourself can you go a few weeks uh, without going to the grocery store or what are you gonna do uh, if uh, you lose your power for a little bit because um, the biggest thing is uh, a lot of businesses wholesaling distributors they're they're cutting their manpower which means distribution slowing down and that's why our grocery stores look so bad and so uh, uh, winter is not going to help that problem so keep it in mind so guys let's move on so another thing I didn't tell you guys about is we stopped by Miller Lumber we are definitely a thumbs up on the uh, greenhouse and Miller Lumber is great because we had a couple of funny sh uh, lengths of uh, 2x4s we wanted they had them and uh, so uh, uh, also the door we want to put in it they have it so uh, we're going to do a bulk order of lumber this week um, and we're going to pick um, I'm not going to have it delivered I'm going to actually have them load my truck it will save me about $75 but it looks like about just short of $500 worth of, of lumber uh, that doesn't count <laughs> the other parts we need but uh, like I said I think we're going to do this greenhouse um, over here um, for around a thousand dollars plus or minus uh, uh, the, it's the extra things that may <clears throat> actually add up so we'll see how that goes so anyway uh, that's our research on Miller lumber we are going ahead with that and uh, the greenhouse will become reality soon so folks I uh, got a lot of things to do about like today's kind of food prepping getting things in order getting the freezers all sorted properly uh, Sherry's uh, been doing a little canning and uh, just dry canning uh, like I said we doubled up on a lot of things we got so in order to keep things like uh, chocolate chips and, and coconut and things like that the last longer she's taken them out of packages and put them in jars and vacuum seal sealed them and dry canned them so uh, she's having a busy day we did buy a lot more uh, salmon and cod which we'll be cutting up putting in servings for two and then putting in our freezers and so we're uh, we'll be sitting kind of pretty for the winter so anyways I want to thank uh, thank you guys for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over say hello in the comments below we love to hear from you and uh, have a great day everybody bye thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.